So we are level one going into this boss. And <laughs> this is a really hard boss, even on a normal playthrough. He does its two bosses in one. <laughs> but this is also one of my favorite fights in the entire game because it is such a over-the-top battle. <laughs> Really, copper nipples, and that's rather strange. Well, I'm glad it's working now. We're doing no damage to the whale. And I love that this is like a a huge homage to all the, the shock and wave mechanics you've learned up to this point. It's like the true final test of these two elements. Oh dear. Oh, this boss. I'm gonna probably want to try and defeat the ape first, just because, or I should say the son of the ape first, because I always find this boss to be more challenging than the whale. Yes, I need to parry it and all that. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice. So, what we're doing, Copper Nettleson, is we're doing the um, the boss battle for the this that dungeon we did last stream. So, we did the oh, we did pretty much the majority of the tree dungeon in last stream, and now. We're fighting the boss of that dungeon. This boss is one of the most difficult ones in the entire game because it's two it's two bosses in one. Which can make it really hard. It kind of reminds me of the Ornstein and Smoke boss fight from Dark Souls in a way. Because you are fighting two bosses at the same time. And the design for the Son of the East kind of reminds me of Dragon Slayer Ornstein. Just a little bit. I know it's not identical by any means. But the fact that I find his lightning attack scarier and his his outfit kind of hat his armor somewhat looks the same, there is definitely that. Um, hopefully, an homage to that. Well, that's because we didn't attempt fighting this boss before, but we were in this huge tree dungeon last stream, Copper Mickelson. I believe you were there for that. Now we're just trying to make progress against this boss. Right here. The whale's back. Ow. It takes so much lightning. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's probably a lot of symbolism behind both of these bosses, as it's not quite speaking to me quite yet. As the devs do have a very fine attention to detail when it comes to, si when it comes to symbolism. Or just making plain video game references, in general. I can't believe I just parried that, that was awesome! With you. Oh, I forgot he can't take fall damage. Oh, well, we'll keep at it. Let's go! 
That's one of six phases down. Hey, <laughs> okay, okay, not too bad. Or should they have one of six health bars? Ow. Yep, I, I'm curious. How, how's it going, Copper Nichols? Oh, I remember this part. There we go. Oh no. There it is. I always found that part so much fun because it's like they're trying to stop the Son of the East from helping the Ancient Guardian. Let's just focus on it. Still hard to believe that this that we've gotten this far at level one. Oh no, not this attack. Let's go. Ow. Like this. Oh dear, I, I messed that up the time in there. It happened. Ow. T. Use a sandwich. Oh, your brother came to visit. That's that's good to hear, Copper Nicholson. Uh, and yeah, I know what you mean. I actually have a brother who's in the um in the middle of grad school right now. And he's currently trying to do some, well, he has a lot of work to do, of course, because he's in grad school, but he's keeping up with it really well. He has, I think, like a pretty high GPA, all, all things considered. But yeah. And glad to hear you're excited for episode 21 of this series. Yeah, it's hard to believe that we've had over 20 episodes of the Snow XP run so far. But, I guess time flies when you're having fun, right? Whale's back. Alright, not bad. Oh, uh, it's not my big brother, I'm actually the oldest brother uh, in the family. So, my younger brother, um, I I think he's studying to be a teacher. Not sure for what subject yet, but it's a very intense program because my dad's grad school. Also, I, I it's so cool that the whale is like using the tree almost like it's the ocean, <laughs> like diving out of it and all that. That's a very pretty boss in terms of pixel art, as well as mechanically, it's it's really top notch. Nope, no, no. Okay. Well, that that lightning isn't striking the right spot. <laughs> yeah, imagine how much experience and growth she's got. Oh wait. Oh, uh, don't worry, Leia. It, we are growing. 
Not in terms of our experience points or our level, but we are definitely growing in skill. I mean, look where we're at in this game. We're like, we're in chapter eight fighting this boss, one of the most notoriously difficult bosses in the entire game. At level one. <laughs> So, I mean, I think we, we've gotten more experience, just not with literal XP. <laughs> so, we've had to learn boss patterns and stuff. Like, I've learned so much about this game that I, I never knew because of this run. Like, I actually had to learn how to parry. When in my first playthrough of this game, I practically never blocked at all. <laughs> I and mean, that's the fun of the challenge runs like this, is really pushing yourself to your limits and really understand the game mechanics more at a fundamental level. A Surreal Dreamer, thank you so much for the follow! Welcome, welcome! How's it going? I, I really appreciate the follow. Hi, A Surreal Dreamer. I don't believe I've seen you around here before. Is this your first stream? Welcome to the insanity that is the no XP run. <laughs> oh, cool! Well, welcome, welcome! You actually came out a really for a really action-packed start of the night because we're battling the Chapter 8 boss, which is one of the hardest bosses in the entire game. It's also one of my favorite fights in the entire game because it is it is so hard but so satisfying because you're fighting two really challenging bosses at the same time. Have you played this game before, a surreal dreamer? Out of curiosity. Because some of the people in my, my chat have actually played this game before, and it's fun to hear their opinions about it, because this is one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, cool! Have, have you completed it before? Oh, yeah! I think I remember. What the heck, bro? Well done! Thank you so much for dropping by! Watch out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this is such a fun boss. Need something. Yes, there we go. Making progress. Probably start with that one. How's it going? What the heck, bro? I think it's been a while since I last saw you on stream. <laughs> yeah, hope you're doing well. Oh, midterms! Yo, yo, I, I completely understand that. Those midterms can be so stressful. Uh, best of luck with those. If it's all right, if I ask, uh, what kind of midterms are you working on? Because I know for me, some some subjects definitely stress me out more than others. Like... Okay, there we go. I know for me, like, the, the calculus midterms I had to take in college definitely stress me out. Oh dear, where, where did it go? All right. Wait a minute. Oh dear. This could be really bad if I don't dodge this. I need a super sandwich. There we go. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Copper Nipples, and you were, you were bringing up how your brother's also going through midterm studying right now. Yeah. I mean, it is that time of the year, isn't it, for midterms? Just end of October. That's when they all did, they all happen. Okay, got it. Okay, from there. There we go. Well, to be fair, once they're, once the tests are over, it feels very satisfying because... 
Well, then you don't have to worry about it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Come on, shock. Ow. Okay, not bad. those who are... I wouldn't say that, Copper Nicholson. Uh, being done with, with college is actually a really interesting time because you actually have more time to do the things you want to do. Learn new skills, maybe you didn't get a chance to work on because you were busy at college or develop some new hobbies. I mean, after I die out of college, I find it rather gratifying to actually be able to do things that I was never able to do in college. Like, for example, uh, I've been learning to cook a lot more. So, pretty much every, I think every other Sunday now I make, I just cook a lot, a lot, and I, the dinners make me feel a lot nicer because I'm actually making them and trying to stay healthy. Whereas when I was in college, I was just so busy all the time, what I would end up doing is just buying whatever was available. And while there was some really nice food selections at the college I went to, it was still, um, definitely not the healthiest choice by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I've also gotten the chance to learn how to do Yoda, which has been fun. Definitely made me feel a lot more relaxed. Have you been able to, like, work on any skills now that you're out of college, Chopper Nicholson? Careful. Careful. There we go. There. Good enough. Come on, keep attacking, keep attacking. Yeah, I love how well this boss mixes all the different shock and wave mechanics into one final battle. Like, for example, we see the Waves teleporting mechanic there, as well as the... Just making use of electricity in general. Ow. Ah, well, I mean, I guess it does depend on what major you are. I I have no idea what it takes to join a union, but I I, I guess it's it, it could be pretty challenging. And, yeah, I, I, I will agree that, you know, job searching, just in general, doesn't matter what major you are, is usually a stressful in, endeavor. Like, I, I know when I was um, going through the job search for, for co-ops during college, that was... Extremely stressful. Ow. Eep. Oh, that was a lucky dodge. Come on, get the damage off, get the... We're slowly whittling their health down, one step at a time. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I've heard there's actually a lot that goes into, like, properly mixing drinks. Like, um, remember when we raided, uh, that, um, we were raided, I think it was King Brohom on stream? His girlfriend was actually a bartender at some point, and, she, and she's really good at mixing drinks. Like, just what you're bringing up right now, Copper Hendrickson, is trying to remind me of that. Yeah, just, just be sure to drink responsibly. Be safe. Alright. 
right? There we go. There's some damage. Come on, we're so... I feel like if we're able to defeat um, the Son of the East, this will be much more doable because I don't find the whale's attacks as difficult to dodge. Or I should say, I don't find the Ancient Guardian's attacks as difficult to dodge. You actually got in contact with Ken Bromont and, and got some new recipes. That's awesome! Glad to hear it! Glad you made, made a new friend. As well as got to get some new re learn some new recipes. It's always good to learn skills from people who are good at them. <laughs> or who are good at what they do. Careful. Come on. Got it! Let's go. Now it's damage time. Yes! Let's face. Oh. oh yeah, I remember that's the drink sh she made for King Brahamans during the stream, right? Nice. Ow. Come on. Okay, there we go. Let's go. Alright, we got. Or, did we get? Oh, I, uh, there's a problem. Not quite close enough. Now we, there we go. All the melee canceling. <laughs> come on, come on. We're so close to being in the sun of the east again, <laughs> technically. <laughs> I had no idea about that, uh, Copper Nicholson. I'm sorry to hear that. But as long as it... Yeah, eventually. It's something to do in the future. Come on. Come on. Yes! Okay, that's one down, guys. We just have to finish off the Ancient Guardian. But now, I think it gets hyper-aggressive. Yep. Oh, dear. Probably stay uh, up above there if I can. Okay, yeah, there's some damage. I wonder though. What's it gonna be like trying to get fire off on this thing? Because. Would it be worth it is the question I have. Because I'm thinking probably not considering how slowly it seems to be building up. Brahma, welcome! Thank you so much for dropping by! Great to see ya! 
Oh dear. Ooh, that's really bad. Okay. <laughs> Sorry guys, that'll really focus here. Oof, this is this is scary. Um, make a sandwich, please, please, please. Okay. <laughs> Nice. What you having for dinner, if you don't mind me asking? Ow. You're taking so much damage. Okay. This could actually be a problem if I start running out of healing items. Okay. Alright, we need attack. All the attack. So I vote. Oh, oh cool. Yeah, pasta's nice. I actually made some tomato paste pasta pretty recently. Let's go. Come on. That's damage. Okay. Come on, come on. There we go. Come on. Look at that damage. We never met those kinds of numbers against bosses normally. <laughs> Dodge that. Dodge. Okay. Ow. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Use some more HP regen. We're gonna drink our entire tea supply during this boss, aren't we? <laughs> All right. Careful. Ow. Ow. Okay. Oh, you got a new emote. Uh, sure can, bro. I'm not go ahead for it. Come on. We're almost to phase three. Phase three! We're so close. Ah. I see. Nice emote. It's a, uh, I think it's a trash can, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's a fun one. Nice. I actually, when I was at a convention once, I saw someone, I think, um, wearing a trash bag and the word, um, like either waifu or husbando or something like that, which is, which was of course to reference, you know, the, the famous meme phrase that's, you know, insert character's name is trash. Now, personally, I much more prefer supporting people and the characters they like, but you know, to each their own. <laughs> oh, that's a great cop for Nicholson. Mr. Krabs says, Phase 3! Give it up for Phase 3! <laughs> that's so accurate. <laughs> Ow.
Oh yeah, SpongeBob memes are great. <laughs> Alright, this. Besides what Copper Nettleson just said, describe this boss battle as a SpongeBob meme. Okay, let's get. another. Where's my buns? There they are. Let's set that up. Alright. Careful. Oh, this is the Elastin Bullworm. I mean, it's a massive boss, so I can see that. I, even though, what's ironic is that earlier in this game, there was actually a worm boss fight. I think it was called a Tim. Ah, I guess that, I guess that sort of works to Copper Nicholson. How if we beat this this boss battle, it would be the maximum overdrive meme. <laughs> You'll never catch me, boss. Not when I switch into maximum overdrive. <laughs> or that's what the whale saying. <laughs> Ow. Sandwich. Oh, the sea bear reference would work too when. <laughs> Let's run this big circle. <laughs> careful. Very careful. Okay. Keep going. We're so close. <laughs> Alright. Need another bun. Where's my bun? There we go. Set some damage. Alright, not as good as I would have liked, but it's something. Ow. <laughs> okay, that's the best one so far, Dover Nitzelson. <laughs> Run for your lives! It's the appetizer! <laughs> I say this giant whale is an appetizer. <laughs> okay, that has to be a meme now. The Ancient Guardian is, is the appetizer. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's a lot. That's that's so much better on the damage. Do I have anything that would increase my elemental overload? Because right now that is starting to happen quite a bit. I think that is there anything for that? Oh, there is. Bobs. I have never actually used these before. But this should be fun. Increasing our balance so we can use our elemental attacks more often. Oh, ooh, too soon, Copper Nicholson, too soon. We need a Mega Sandwich right now. Actually, did they ever disclose in the Spongebob lore what happens to, um, Earl's mom? Because I honestly don't know. I know it seems strange to say, like, Spongebob has lore, but no, it, it does. It's... Like, even some of the, um, like, the background characters have entire arcs going on between the episodes. If you pay close enough attention. So close. Oh, this has to be it. Please be it. Come on. Come on. 
Come on! No! We're right there! A sliver of health. Come on! This is it, guys. We're so close. We're so close. This is probably gonna end up being longer than the moth boss if this is a successful attempt. But that's okay. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yes! Chapter 8, final boss defeated! Let's go!